What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the new summer events in Rise of Kingdoms. So at reset the summer events went live in rise of kingdoms and this is an event that we've pretty much seen copy and pasted over and over and over and over again and it's kind of boring at this point anyway the summertime collection event essentially you will get fragrant nectar items from collecting on the map from collecting from your city and from defeating barbarians these fragrant nectars are going to be a part of the uh, sea of fireflies event where every time you get one of these fragrant nectars you can donate it to make this uh sea of fireflies even better there is only a single level so your alliance basically is um it's a collaborative project where everyone in your alliance is donating to reach the 5000 point goal and uh, i guess if you do you get a random one of these rewards here and i guess maybe you can hit 5000 uh 10 times and that's the maximum number of uh, of i guess chests that you can get here so some of these rewards are really really good for me i would hate to get some of these resources i think the gems the gold keys the speed ups those are much much better uh noteworthy there's no research speed ups in here but there are building speed ups which is kind of annoying because uh, i think that there's more players out there with finished buildings than there are players with finished research but regardless hopefully uh we will see the the universal ones pop up for most of you guys if you want good luck on these chests make sure you smack that like button i heard the lilith gods were saying something about the more you like the video the better your odds of getting good stuff here i don't know it might be a hoax but you should try it just in case now there's also rankings for alliance members who donate the most amount of uh fragrant nectar or uh gems to this event uh honestly the rewards aren't that great if you come in first place you get eight hours of speed ups a couple of resources and some experience so uh this this probably isn't going to be like something that people fight over I, I can guarantee it um, if you decide to donate gems instead of fragrant nectar you're going to get a bottle so one bottle equals a hundred gems and you also get these bottles from the summer party event so we'll talk about this in a second but um if we're going to talk about what you actually get from this right so if you donate a fragrant nectar you get an empty bowl i guess is, is what that is the summer night memories event is essentially where you can redeem these event items for in-game goods and again we've seen this over and over and over again so you can use your bottles for stars i don't think you should do that unless you're a big spender you probably should use these for sculptures but uh anyway you can also use the uh, bowls for golden keys which is a decent way for free to play players to get a bunch of gold keys you also if you have a lot of both items you can get the permanent city skin which is the summer of passion we'll look at that in a second this is something that you're only going to be able to get if you are uh spending a lot of gems or if you're buying the bundle which should be coming out either tomorrow or the day after when we see the recharge event go live uh there's also a way to get legendary commander sculptures here and this is exciting for uh, mostly for medium to high spenders but you will be able to get some of these as a free-to-play player you also get a couple of cosmetics in here so you get the midsummer pillar and you also get the uh temporary summer of passion i don't think that this is something that you really need uh no one's gonna buy this i don't know i don't know it doesn't seem worth it to me so in order of importance here obviously the legendary commander sculptures are the most important thing that you can get from this event in second place i think is probably the gold keys for free to play players um if you're a mid to high spender and you have a lot of the legendaries from the gold keys maxed out then this isn't very useful for you but if you're free to play gold keys are a way to get charles martel Cao Cao. legendary commanders are always good even if they are the gold key ones so getting free gold keys is nice and again if you're a medium to high spender you might want to consider this city uh skin we'll talk about the buffs later if you don't need it then you don't need it you can save these uh these small bottles and you can use them for either speed ups or something like that now again the summer party this is something that we see uh, over and over and over again it's a five day event and they will give you new uh new i guess challenges every single day different like quests to do and if you complete those quests you get some number of speed ups and other buffs boosts and things like that plus you'll mostly get a lot of these nectar bowls so two per uh quest that you can do here and you can turn those nectar bowls into golden keys and things like that the daily business one is important you want to log in for every single one of the five days because every time you do you get Get two small bottles which means this is guaranteeing you at least one legendary commander sculpture so if you're free to play uh there you go you get at least one free legendary commander sculpture from this event now i think that's too low i think 
like come on let's just be real here there should be more than one free legendary but um the good news is that there is there is a way to get a couple of more there's an event called protect the supplies and even though you have to scroll down here this is also part of the uh holiday events i don't know why it's separated here but essentially what this does is it will spawn a supply uh caravan at your city and it that caravan will start marching towards a small village on the map it's about i think seven or eight minutes away in terms of march time and you can make this harder by raising these sliders and basically what this is going to do is it's going to either debuff the caravan or it's going to make the raiders even more powerful or there will be more of them or whatever um and so this i would recommend doing this because if you are able to defeat it at, at least a level 20 star difficulty you will get some number of those bottles like we talked about before so if you're able to beat it at the 20 star point which uh the game says requires at least 50 million power i don't know you might be able to do it with less power than that you you probably will be if your commanders are okay but um if you're able to do that then you'll get 10 small bottles here 10 small bottles for the 16 star and you also get five bottles from the eight star challenge and of course you get all these other rewards as well so you get 25 bottles from here you get 10 bottles from the summer party which means that you will have 35 bottles and that means that you are 500 gems away from uh basically four legendary commander sculptures right because you're going to get uh three for free just from the bottles that you get from those events but you'll have five left over and if you just spend 500 500 gems here that will complete it and that will get you 10 uh, of the bottles and that gets you another legendary commander sculpture so for 500 gems for legendary commander sculptures is a great value i definitely recommend it because what else are you going to do with those leftover five you would get five hours of speed ups not worth it i think you should just spend the 500 if you have it now it's also worth noting that there is a rewards chest here so if you come in rank number one uh, you actually get 20 legendary commander sculptures and 2000 gems plus some speed ups which is really good however you do have to be able to complete this on the full 25 star difficulty which is going to be difficult for a lot of players and it is a first come first serve event as far as i'm concerned so these players here all of these well actually only the top two so john wayne and tiri stana i'm sorry if i butcher that um they both got the same score of a perfect 100 percent but john wayne completed it before him so there's no way for this player to overtake john wayne at least that's my understanding and that's how this event uh, or events similar to this have worked in the past which is unfortunate so if you're not online at the time of reset and able to complete it first then you're probably not going to get that tumor one spot so it's cool that this is in there i mean you still get eight if you're in the top 10 so that's nice uh you want to finish it as fast as you can but i don't know i'm just not a huge fan of this event it's just to me it it takes a lot of time and it's very finicky you have to really be focusing on and attacking all the different barbarians that are coming and it's difficult to do on an emulator so you, it's better to do on a phone because you have a touch screen and you can use basically multiple fingers to click and drag i'm not really sure why i don't like this event to me it's just it's just not that exciting that's all it's just not that exciting i wish i had some constructive criticism to say hey if they did this it would be more exciting to me but I don't know it's just it's just another event now this is the summer of passion skin if you do end up getting it you get five percent cavalry defense and you lose five percent archer attack i think this is actually a pretty decent uh skin to get in terms of the special attributes especially for free to play because free to play are probably going to use cavalry most likely because they're the fastest unit and they have probably some of the better uh, epic commanders in the in the epic tier so it's decent um you don't it's not like the best out there but cavalry defense i think it statistically is better than archer attack obviously it depends on the scenario but i would say in general in the, op in the open field this is a pretty good attribute city skin there are others that are you know better than it so the magpie bridge i get five percent cav health and lose five percent archer defense i kind of prefer that plus i think it looks a little bit nicer but if you're a new player to the game then this is a decent skin that you can get but it uses a lot of bottles so you know if you're thinking should i get uh, 10 legendary commander sculptures or the summer of passion skin i would say get the 10 legendary commander sculptures unless you're a medium or high spender and you can just you'll have bottles left over now as with every sort of holiday event there's typically a recharge event that happens so you should expect a recharge event tomorrow or the day after that's typically when it drops and 
either the same day as that recharge event or the day after that recharge event starts you will see a summer of passion bundle we already know this is coming and on the screen is a picture of last year's version of the summer event bundle uh this is the obviously the hundred dollar tier but i would expect it to be literally identical um the hundred dollar tier for this event will probably give you 150 bottles and 150 of the nectar bowls so do what you want with this i think that the bundle value here is very good i think that if you're a medium spender or a big spender this is definitely one of the bundles that you should be max purchasing because you do get tons of universal speed ups and you get uh, the universal resource chests as well plus again these items here are essentially legendary commander sculptures so if you max purchase that bundle you should have more than enough of the bottles and the bowls to get 30 legendary commander sculptures which is really great value because again you are getting you're getting good value out of the bundle as it is but you're also getting 30 legendary commander sculptures so i know that max purchasing bundles is not what a lot of my viewers are doing a lot of you guys are free to play but it's just worth noting that if you are considering maxing a bundle this month this is probably the one that you want to do and finally if you're struggling to get the fragrant nectar from map collection city collection or barbarians uh, one thing that you can do is you can send smaller armies out to the resource nodes so for example this level 5 resource node I can collect up to 756,000 reserves however um, you don't the, the amount of the nectar that you get from from harvesting out in the fields it's not really a linear graph so for example if I get half of this resource node and then return to my city versus completing this resource node all the way down to zero and then go back to my city you won't get double the nectar at least that's how it's worked in previous events so the strategy that you want to do is actually to send out a bunch of smaller armies so that way they come back to your city faster with a decent amount of resources i would shoot for probably between a hundred thousand and two hundred thousand resources per uh, troop dispatch so that means your uh, your armies are gonna come back more often and you should be still finishing those nodes but you're gonna have to do it in multiple trips and by doing this uh, it should increase the amount of those nectars that you're getting completely for free it's also worth noting that this is a good time to spend your action point potions uh, if you have a ton if you're low on those action point potions save them for marauders or some other event like karak ceremony because using a lot of those ap potions just isn't going to get you that great of a value here you're basically using it for gold keys which i don't know i just don't think that that's a really great value but if you have a ton left over like like i have just a ridiculous amount in here um then you you can use them here if, if you really want to get uh, as many bowls as possible and you know you may need to do that if you are max purchasing the bundle um you you might run out of these bowls because you, you do need uh two and a half times more of them than you do the bottles for legendary heads and as you saw from the screenshot uh you do get the same amount for them in the bundles so you know you'll get 150 of each even though you need more of the bowls to buy the uh the legendary head so you'll have to do some number of gathering and barb killing it's important to know that obviously you you can get more by sending smaller armies or if you're too lazy to like go in and edit a smaller army you could just teleport to zone one and all the resource nodes there are smaller anyway so you just send out the troops to the nodes and you don't even worry about it they come back with their resources and you're good anyway that's pretty much it for the summertime event again we've seen this event copy and pasted over and over and over again uh, it's great for new players and for free-to-play players because it does give you some way to get some free things even though this is still an event that does pretty much lean towards the medium and high spenders because that's those are the only players that are going to really be able to get all these heads and get the permanent skin and all that stuff so it's not as good as some of the other holiday events like for example the one that you spend seven seven thousand gems and you unlock a second higher tier that that event can get you like i don't even remember like 30 legendary commander sculptures and it's possible to do as free to play you do have to grind a ridiculous amount but it is possible technically i guess so this event less exciting and again the fact that it's been copy and pasted a million times over it it's is kind of boring to me at this point if i'm being a hundred percent honest it just is but i wish you guys the best of luck grinding out these small bowls doing these events and enjoying the summertime party don't forget the real summertime party exists offline it exists outside of rise of kingdoms I, I think I mean I wouldn't know 
oh and one final tip to get more of those nectar bowls is make sure you use your food production wood production stone production and gold production boosts those items will just produce more of your resources which means that if you're collecting more resources in the city you have a higher chance of getting those nectar bowls so there's an extra little tip for you guys if you've made it this far in the video hopefully you'll drop a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new around here i know a lot of you guys are not sub so sub to the channel do it click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always my social media links are in the description below my instagram my twitter my discord and my twitch i do live stream every single week and i connect with you guys a little bit better on discord as always there's a link down there to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac that's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms i notice the least amount of crashes when i do so it's a little harder to play protect the supplies on a computer but for 99 percent of the rest of the game i think this is the better way to play like i said it's free check it out blue stacks link in the description below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch and i will talk to you guys again soon Peace.